Hello, my name is Gwen. Welcome to your practice today. We're going to get into some circular movements to prepare the body for a deep meditation at the end. So our pranayama will be at the end um, of our practice today. So let the eyes close once you get a comfortable seat. So let yourself get comfortable. Whether you're on the floor or on a cushion or a couch, a chair. And once you feel that the body is settling in, you can close your eyes. Notice the breath. Feel the stacking quality of the head over the shoulders. Feel that privilege of holding very high upward. Feel the balance of the head as it forward, sideways or back, and see if you can bring that into where it feels like it's in alignment for you. Can you feel the earlobes over the shoulder? And the shoulders draping over the hips. The elbows may feel like they're pointing downward. Come into the sit bones where you're seated Feel them root and let yourself grow a little taller from that place. Feel the evenness from one side to the other. And now come into the breath, in through the nose and out through the nose. Feel the coolness coming in, the warmth flowing out. Take your time. And then go ahead and lower the head on your next exhale. Let it come down, chin to chest. A semicircle, bring the chin up to one shoulder and down in the center. Up to the other shoulder and then downward. Marry it with the breath if you'd like and an inhale up. Exhale it down. Visualize the nose as a laser beam. So it's creating a semicircle on the floor now. We're going to bring that into a circular pattern by slowly bring it up, around, and down. Notice a circle. Let it be playful. Have some fun with this movement. Allow it to spiral inward. Notice what you're creating. And then the other direction if you can. Eyes are closed. Circle. Once it gets really large, you can drop the chin down into your semicircles and then into stillness. Inhale the head up. Ha. Notice how you feel. Then go ahead and take your left ear over to your left shoulder. Reach up through that left arm and then go ahead and place it on the top somewhere. You're going to pick a few different spots, so just choose one for now and start to say yes. So draw that laser beam in a line. And that line may change to a different spot. You may start to zigzag place the hand in a different spot and notice how that shifts the sensation. And then choose another spot to place the hand. Have some fun. And 
and then let the head come downward. Point the nose down and go ahead and take that left hand and place it on the right shoulder. Let it hang as you say yes. And then all the way up so the left fingers are hooks. Just let them gently hook. Notice what this is like. Start to move the nose in different directions. So up and down. Maybe a semicircle. Rest that ear towards that shoulder, left ear to left shoulder. Swipe it off, just sweep anything you're holding on to, known or unknown. Let it go. Letting go of any baggage. We don't have to know about it. We're clearing and cleaning. Congestion gone. And then go ahead and squeeze and release. Pick a few different spots to squeeze and release. And then go back and choose a spot and press the fingers in. Find that trigger spot and start to move the head up and down. The head can stay still and the shoulder can move. So feel and notice now the shoulder. What is that like to move up and down? Let it circle. And how about the other direction? As you bring a little bit of pressure into an area, choose another area, just a hair over, and move the shoulder. Circle, maybe the other way, and then a little yes. Relax and soften, let that left hand come on down, chin down. On your next natural breath, gently roll it up. Leave the eyes closed at first here. And sense and feel from one shoulder to the other. Notice how it feels. Then go ahead and take that left hand on the right shoulder and bring that shoulder forward and back. Offer some resistance. So as you press forward, the hand is offering a little resistance. As you, the shoulder comes back, it offers resistance to the hand. So you feel all this resistance as you come forward and back. It feels thick, like you're moving through clay. Forward, and back. Release that resistance and notice the fluidity, like we're moving through water. Relax and soften and let it come up and down and bring in that resistance. Not too heavy. Again, moving through that, that clay, that thickness. Shoulder comes up, the hand offers a little weight. Shoulder comes down slowly, and the hand is winning. And then let's bring a little clarity by releasing that resistance. So notice what you notice. What does it feel like to bring the shoulder beautifully, fluidly, this way? up and down. Next time it comes up, we're going to come into a circle. So let it come up, back, down and around, all four directions. Feel and sense all these areas coming together and joining in the circle. Any bumps, any places that grind, these snap, crackle, pops. Go a little slower if you can. 
a little lighter spiral inward maybe and then the other way what's it like to go the other direction slow it down if you have a thunk or kerplunk somewhere see if you can come away from it so a little smaller observe investigate and then relax and soften bring the hand down notice from shoulder to shoulder breathe into that awareness deep breath in deep breath out one more other side go ahead and bring that shoulder forward and back notice what it's like to move like this offer that resistance just a little about 30 percent you can kick it up to 60 if it you want to feel a little more we're going through that that clay maybe it's a little thicker on the side And then we'll drop that resistance. Just let it go and notice what you notice as the shoulder comes forward fluidly and back. The sense of ease. Let the body imprint that. Then rest. Take a breath. Up and down. Bring in that resistance. Shoulder presses into that weight. Hand presses down that weight. Notice what it's like to bring in resistance. Control. Complete control. Feel all the muscles coming in to create. How well can they release now as the shoulder comes out of resistance and into this ease? Feel your way through up and down. From here, we're gonna come into a circle. As the shoulder comes up, let it gently come back and down, gently forward and around. Notice all the sounds. any bumpy bits. See if you can go a little slower over those bumpy bits. Possibly spiral inward. When you're ready, the other way. beautiful circle either big or small wherever you're at relax the hand down on your lap deep breath in observe from one shoulder to the other bring it into a triangle to the middle of the brain through the forehead down shoulder to shoulder draw that that highlighted area Notice how this area feels. Nice. Very softly take the shoulders up to the ears and circle them back. Let the body move in this circle. The head moves. They come up, back, down and around. And we start to move like this now. Eyes can close. and then the other way. Let them move. Notice how well they move this way and let the body move with it. 
Come back up and around. Back up and around. Observe from the inside out. What does this feel like on you? One more. And then come into one comes forward and then the other. Like we're swimming with our shoulders. Arms and elbows are resting. Shoulders are moving. And then backward. Let them move. And then relax and soften. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, smooth. One more breath. And a and then go ahead and come on over to tabletop. If you have a blanket, please use it underneath the knees. Nestle them in. Build those little nests. Or if the kneecaps are tender, crawl forward. Let the knees just drape off so there's no pressure on the kneecap. Wherever you are, let yourself sway from side to side. Get the hands um, in that place of wide fingers. Make sure the wrists are happy. You can feel that weight evenly. Then now we've shifted the internal marker to our navel. So instead of the nose, it's the navel. Let yourself circle and make those masterpiece circles. So whatever that looks for you, close the eyes and start to circle. Notice what your circles look like. You may come over to one side and come into some small circles. You might like to come over to the other side and make it even. Yogi's choice. Maybe for you it's a figure eight, this continuum. So this infinity. Notice how your body can move. Remember, if it's hard for you to come on the floor, your hands are on the seat of the chair and you can do all of this with the chair. Come into your center slowly and come into a little bit of a semicircle. Slower. A little slower. And then right to center. Gently, softly, looking over one shoulder, eyes are closed. You can tap the chin to the shoulder. As you tap the chin to the shoulder, let the head become a little heavier, like we're a Raggedy Ann doll. And now it's just a little tap wherever you can. Let the body move like this. Nice and easy. Go ahead and come all the way into center and come on your forearms. Forearms down, shoulder width looking down. Take a breath here and as you exhale, head heavy, sit bones come downward as you round that spine. As you inhale, point the sit bones upward, heart forward looking between the thumbs possibly. Exhale round, head heavy. Inhale, crescent shape back bend. Move in and out with your breath. You may shift your breath. Investigate and notice what's that like for you. 
in through the nose and out through the nose. One more each way. Coming in to thread the needle. Come on up. Go ahead and we're going to start with the right hand by floating it up. Then you're going to thread it right through from the hand to the knee. Forehead roots down. Take a breath. Three breaths here. And now you're going to, on your next natural breath, shift all the way over to your right side. Your view is the right hand. Three breaths here. Option to crawl the left fingers or leave them where they are. If you need a little bit more support, leave them where they are. One more breath right here. Inhale deeply. Exhale softly. Left hand comes back to start with a press. Right hand floats up, reaches up, and then place it down. Other side. Right hand presses. Left hand floats up with a breath and then thread it through. Forehead roots down. Feel the connection as you breathe. Three breaths here. Relax through the jaw. Relax the belly. Then go ahead and place the temple ear downward. Your view is now the left hand with the eyes closed. Option to spider walk the right hand forward if you're no longer needing that support. One more beautiful breath right here. Enjoy. Then go ahead and drag that right hand right below that right shoulder with a press. Float the left hand up like a yawn. Enjoy. And then slowly bring it down. Come on into both hands and reach out through that right heel. Feel and notice the toes point down. Connect with your breath as you inhale. Feel that length. As you exhale, nose to knee connection. You'll inhale, feel that length. Exhale, nose to knee. Two more. Last one. Trade places. Let the left heel press back. Feel the crown come forward. Take a big inhale when you're ready. As you exhale, round that spine. As you inhale, feel that length. You can do this on the chair too. The hands can be seated where you sit. One more. Place the knee down and then come to sitting. So let yourself sit now. You may want to come a little closer to the wall if you need more support. This is where you may want to take your blanket and fold it again for a little more elevation, a little deeper elevation. I like to have the fold by my sit bones so that they can hang off and, and this part where it's folded and there's two pieces at the back makes everything just a little bit simpler. And then once you get yourself settled, rock back and forth and just, just feel the sit bones and nestle them in. The knees will be coming downward if you're seated in a crisscross and in, in a sukhasana.
And for this um, meditation, we really want to be comfortable because it's 11 minutes. So the legs will soften where you're at. And maybe they're not crossed because your knees are sore. However, you can sit comfortably. You want to focus on the spine. So you want that length and that elegance and softness all the way up. And so that dignity, you feel that beautiful, the head, that privilege of balancing on top of the body meets and greets the world. Thousand petaled lotus, beautifully situated on the crown. Let it balance. And then again, sense and feel from the earlobes down to the shoulders, down through the elbows to the hips, to the sit bones. Feel where you're connected and rooted. Through that connection onto your mat, chair, wherever you are, see if you can settle in and feel a broadening and a widening and then grow up from that place, all the way up the spine, through the palate, through the crown. And in this meditation, you'll have the eyes slightly open, very softly like slits, and you'll be looking downward. And so it might feel like you're looking at the tip of your nose. You can see the tip of your nose as you're looking downward. This will give a beautiful squeeze into that pineal gland so that we'll get that serotonin moving. It'll also help to bring this amazing energy from the base all the way up. And you might have heard this energy as kundalini energy or serpent snaking up all the way up as we come through this beautiful meditation. So very softly here, go ahead and take the left hand down, the right hand on top, thumbs together. And the thumbs are pointing downward. You're looking downward. Sense and feel how you, the body is now. And as we inhale, we're gonna sniff in one, two, three, four times with a sa, ta, na, ma. The sa meaning infinity, the ta, life, na, death, and ma, rebirth, all cycles of life. On the exhale, with a waha, Guru, wa, honor, ha, excitement. Guru, moving darkness into lightness. A slight pause at the top, the two, three, four, and a pause at the bottom with a hold, two, three, four. So when you're ready now, Go ahead and take two cleansing breaths before we start. Inhale deeply. Exhale. And again, inhale deeply. Exhale. Inhale. Hold two. Three, four, wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, 
four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na. Ma, hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru, hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na, ma, hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru, hold, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta. Na, ma, hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru, hold, two, three, four. <laughs> hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru, hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na, ma, hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru, hold, two, three, four. <laughs> hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru, hold, two. Three, four, sa, ta, na, ma, hold, two, three, four, wahe, guru, hold, two, three, four, <laughs> hold, two, three, four, wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four, sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, two, three, four, wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. <laughs> Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. More than halfway through. Two, four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, two, three.
three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three. Four, sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. Sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, two, three. Four, wahe, guru. Two minutes. Three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Hold, two, three, four. One more round. Hold, two, three, four. Wahe, guru. Let yourself rest. Notice how you feel. Maybe you feel that spiraling energy. This shift into mental clarity. A greater state of harmony. Let your self just bask in those benefits. If you feel that you'd like to sit here longer, please do. If you'd like to come laying down on your back, please do in a final resting pose. You can now use the blanket as a blanket. Let yourself rest. Observe and feel all those sensations. That serotonin, melatonin, all those feel good chemicals surging through, calming the body. Into this heightened state of being. Let this be your new normal. As you rest here, 
I'm going to close the practice by bringing my palms together. If you'd like to follow, please do. Thumbs at the heart center, a light connection, a deep inhale, and a most honoring sense of gratitude, this bow. So grateful for you for sharing your practice today. Namaste.